Hey, we're gonna do something different, okay? On the count of three, I want you all to clap simultaneously, okay? One, two, three. Start white people <laughs> cheating. Come on. All right? One, two, three. Good old boys, <laughs> never meaning no harm. Get up and never saw any trouble. Love is the day they were born. Making a way. I used to love the Dukes of Hazzard until I realized what the Confederate flag meant. That changed everything. I don't like to say I've been duped. I like to say I've been duped and punished. You know what I mean? It was horrible, man. It was horrible. It's good to be here. It's good to see y'all. Man, I, I got a question to ask y'all. Is it just me? Is it just me? Or do like all white girls got big booties now? Yes. There's something everywhere, man. It's like a phenomenon. It's like a neutral bullet. Everyone has one. Everyone, everyone has one. It's to the point like I'm waiting to bump into a white girl with a flat booty. I'd be like, they still make you? Uh, vintage. You just retrospected me. <laughs> You're crazy, man. You're crazy. Any hockey fans out here? Any hockey fans? Any, nobody can speak. <laughs> yeah, I used to want to. Um, Minnesota Wild, man, you know? I don't like, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're just wishy-washy. One minute they're good, next minute they're bad. Like, I used to want to be a Minnesota North Star. Any North Star fans out here? I used to love the North Star. For real. Don't judge me. I know what color I am. I know what color I am, okay? All right? I'm a different kind of black, you know what I mean? For real. Serious. But I used to want to be a North Star, man. My favorite player was, like, Mike Madonna, Dino Cincerelli. That was my squad. Seriously. I went up to my mom and like, Mom, Mom, I want to play... I want to play hockey for my high school. She's like, uh, I'm like, I need a, I need a, I need a hockey stick. She's like, boy, you better go get that branch off that tree, and I'll make a hockey stick out of the branch. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, I ain't gonna spend no three hundred fifty dollars for no hockey stick. Okay, it's not exactly single parent friendly. You know what I mean? It's too expensive. It's too expensive. But the only thing that deter black people from like playing hockey is like you can't be cool on ice. You know, like you can't have swag and ice skating hockey. You be on a court. You yeah. Hey, Steve, Steve, pass me the puck next time, Steve. The puck ain't the only thing that's black on ice anymore, Steve. Yeah. Seriously. But seriously, how can you go take off until it's diversified, man? Until it's integrated, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to make revenue like basketball or football or baseball until it's diversified. But I'm sorry, when that happens, I'm sorry, y'all, but all that fight gonna stop. I'm sorry, you give a black man or a Mexican two blades and a stick, you get them messed up, okay? Yeah. Let me get this right, coach. I go in the penalty box for five minutes, come back out, do it all over again. Back! Steve! <laughs> Steve! I'll see you in five minutes, Steve! <laughs> Three minutes, Steve! Yeah. Crazy. Any uh, Black Panther fans? Anybody want to see the movie Black Panther? Ow. Amazing movie. Won like what, three Oscars, man? That's awesome and stuff, man. I just hate how like some of the critics just like marginalized it, man. Like, they're like, the first African-American director to have $200 million budget. First African-American movie to exceed $500 million in sales. Like, why can't it just be a really good movie that happened to be made by a black person, right? Why, why can't you just leave well enough alone? It's 2019. But I absolutely love the movie. Like, I went to go see it, like, three times, yo. And, like, every time I go see it, it's like, I felt like I was in Wakanda, you know? I felt like a Wakandian, man. Like, my whole mannerisms were changed. Like, I was leaving with my wife, and I was like, it is my right to have three wives. <laughs> That didn't work so well. <laughs> it didn't work, man. But as we was walking to the car, like this white guy came up to me and was like, Wakanda forever! I'm like, hold up, sir, hold up, hold up, hold up. 
Like, let us enjoy this moment, sir. Please, please. Give it three years and then you can gentrify Wakanda, okay? <laughs> All right? In three years, you can, you, can, you can build your Starbucks, okay? Or your Trader Joe's, all of that. Just give us some time to enjoy this moment, man. For real. That's how I felt about that. <laughs> Serious, man. Any kids? Any, anybody got kids out here? Woo! Yeah, man. My daughter, my pride and my joy, man. And my daughter, uh, my greatest teacher, like, she taught me not how not to be homophobic and I'm in touch with my femininity, and you know what I mean? I'm just a better person because of my daughter, man. Like, I would die for my daughter. I would kill for my daughter. I would do anything for my daughter except, like, go to Mall America with her, okay? Like, I don't love you. I don't have no Mall America love for you, you know what I mean? I don't, you know. But, um, you know, I have a really good relationship with her. But, like, like, one day, she threw me for a loop, man. You know what I mean? Like, I think it was, like, three years ago. It was during the winter. And, uh, you know, we talk, like, every day. And I call her, I'm like, hey, baby, what you up to? And she nonchalantly tells me, she's like, oh, just ice fishing in Canada. And I lost my rabbit mom. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Where are you, Erica? She's like 10 miles offshore. I'm like, Erica, Erica, you call me when you get back to shore. No sooner, no later. Click. Now I'm all about being culturally acclimated. <laughs> I am. OK? But ice fishing is not it, OK? It's just not. Like, ma'am, you can, you know, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> it's not. All right? She could have played, she could have said, I'm playing Russian roulette. I'd be like, just be careful. I just wish it is not it. So you think she called me when she got back to shore? No. So now I'm living pissed off. She finally gave me a call the next day. And I'm like, Erica, you're so insensitive. I was worried sick about you. I was afraid that you were stuck under 10 feet of ice like Captain America. <laughs> She's like, Dad, I'm sorry. I'm like, cool, Erica. I'm just glad you're fine. All right? I, just got, I got a question for you. She's like, yeah, what's up, dad? I'm like, um, your boyfriend's white, isn't he? <laughs> She's like, what? what did you, your boyfriend's white, isn't he? She's like, dad, you're prejudiced. I'm like, how can I be prejudiced? You're mixed. That makes absolutely no sense. For lack of a better word, she could have said stigma, observation. All I'm saying, ma'am, you came up to me and said, you like chicken. I can't get mad at you because I do, OK? <laughs> you caught me. You caught me stuck in the mirror out of the bone. I'm in. I'm in. I'm saying I'm sure there's a minute amount of mixed people and black people that ice fish. I just don't know neither of them, OK? <laughs> Correction, black people do ice fish. And cut foods over in the frozen department, OK? You get, you get our fish sticks. And Bring him up to the counter and pay for him to leave, you know? But I'm going to end on this joke. I got a joke. I don't tell, like, jokes, but I'm going to tell you this one. Hopefully you can share it with your black friend, okay? Y'all ready for it? <laughs> Y'all ready? ready for the joke? Ready for it. All right. There was a plane that was over sea capacity. So the pilot came out of the cockpit. So, okay, you guys, you guys going to have to jump off the plane. But we're going to have to do this in alphabetical order. Okay, we're going to start with A first. If there's any Afro-Americans aboard this plane, you must jump the plane immediately. Look, little girl look at her dad like, damn, that's us. The pilot go back in the cockpit. He come back out. He's like, okay, people, we're almost there now. We're going to start with B. If there's any black people <laughs> aboard this plane, you must jump the plane immediately. Little girl look at her dad like, Dad, Dad, that's us. He's like, ah. Probably go back in the cockpit. He comes back out. He's like, all right, people, we're going to start with C now. This is not a race issue. We're just doing an alphabetical order, OK? If there's any colored people, <laughs> Aboard this plane, you must jump the plane immediately. Little girl look at her dad I'm like, Dad, that's us. I'm like, nah, honey, today we need girls, okay? <laughs> so white people, when you tell your black friends that joke, just make sure you say the right N-word, okay? And, uh, God bless. Have a good night. Peace. Woo!